Alright guys, like I said before, this is my KWA MP9. I uh, decided to get a couple new parts for it. Gonna do the threaded barrel adapter here. Gonna install that. And we're gonna install the DangerWorks flute valve. There we go, let's get a shot of that. Uh, I'm gonna do the both of those. I'm gonna do before and I'm gonna try this. My first time I'm gonna be editing, so don't hold hold it against me. Um, the flute valve and the threaded adapter today. I'm going to do before and after chrono shots so you guys can see real hand. I'm going to do five of each and we'll go from there. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, first things first, we're going to break down the, the gun and right, let's see if I can get a shot of that. Right inside here, there's a screw. You use a flathead screwdriver, you pull that out first. So we're going to go ahead and break that down. It is one of the hardest screws I've actually pulled apart. It's kind of weird. I don't never felt one that. Don't know what it's going to in there, but okay. Don't lose that because the gun won't work right without it. Next, we're gonna yeah, camera angle here is kind of crappy. Push in this little button here, which is the spring retainer, and that's gonna lift off like that and the spring just exploded all over the place but I caught it so it didn't hit the camera so now we have spring spring guide yeah. put that back in there and set it off to the side for now now we've got the top off set that off to the side and this is what the top of it looks like here first thing I want to do is take that spring out there if you don't take that out, it will fly everywhere. Take it nice and easy. Little spring there. Set it off to the side. Then we're gonna slide this back until it just lines up with the back of the block. Pull out the pin here. This pin. Set that aside. Now we can take this. I can take this out. Take my hand out of the way. Pull that off to the side. And what you want to do is make sure your bolt's as far forward as you can get it, and I'll release the, the stock like that. Then on each side, I think you want to pull down, then you can push the bolt forward all the way, and just wiggle it up and down a little bit. Grab it a little differently here. bolt and everything else out of the gun. Pretty much your whole upper receiver out of the gun. Out of the gun. So, next thing we can do is, sometimes this will stay in. This is your um, block that slides it up in there. All that kind of, and your um, slide, release, slide release, bolt release. Set that off to the side. Next, we're going to pull the bolt off. Okay, so we have our barrel that we can take out, set aside. And we have our flash, our standard flash hider and the little block here. So what we need to do, pop out two pins here and here. Okay, that took a little longer than I wanted, but got the pins out. You can see those, there's just two of those. One goes in each hole. Now we're just gonna slide this off, give it a little wiggle. Oh. Back and forth, maybe a little bit of extra force. There we go, popped right off. Just takes a little bit of oomph. And now, as you can see, there's a groove there and a groove there. What those are going to do is they're going to line up with the holes for the pins. And this is what it's going to look like. And then we can slide a barrel extender on the end of that. Get back in here. other one in before we do go too far. Now, 
gonna take my <laughs> the only thing I could get that actually fit in there. A little screwdriver here. Which is the only thing that was big enough and long enough to get those things where I needed it. So we're gonna line this up like we should. Get that bad boy right inside where it needs to be. Okay. Part, we're going to take the, the bolt or barrel, put it back in there. That's all lined up. Now we can get take this and just get rid of that. Get rid of the bright orange barrel, which you want to make sure you use a barrel plug or something to cover that up when you're carrying it around. Make sure it's in a bag. So the next part we're going to do is we're going to remove that and then we're going to start working on the, the back end here. Now I need to remember how to get these out of here. I think that's just one pin on each side. Yeah. That's how it is. So it's the same size pin. I think we're going to need to get rid of that all the way through. So what we need to do Slide that out. That one little pin there that goes to the top. So pull that out. Now we need to get into here into these pins. And see if we can get those out without damaging anything. short side let's see short side here which the little pin goes in and then the long side over here which that longer one goes in probably can't tell the difference right now but when you look at it in your hand you'll know so now you can set the set the bolt aside we've got our gas unit here what we want to do pull these little springs off but be careful not to lose them or they're not on there very tight they're just re recoil springs so take this here slide that off that end slide that off that end and we slide this apart you can set this aside now what we're going to need to do there's a pin right here so that means we're going to take one of our real thin pieces here and I'm going to put my finger over the hole so because there's a spring in there that holds it all together. And what we're going to do is figure out how to get that out of there without damaging anything. There we go pin just kind of slides out of there it is pressure fit so you're going to need to do that but watch make sure you keep your finger over the end here so nothing shoots out and because that just popped into my hand so I'm going to leave that right where it is and there is the rocket valve is what they call that from KWA and you can see difference here. I hold these up to the camera. So there's the the Danger Works flute valve. You can see the and then there's the rocket valve. You can see the big difference is so it's gonna let less air let less gas through so that'll um, lower the feet per second. What we're gonna need to do is drop that in there like that. I'm gonna use my screwdriver here that's been working great for me all day. Slide that back in. We're going to use the rubber the plastic side of this. 
pop that bad boy in there. So, let me see, I don't have a flashlight here, but you should be able to see. Let's see, there we go. There's the flute valve installed, and the pins flush on the side. Still have the springs on it, so now we're going to go back together. So we slide this in here, make sure everything's lined up. It only goes one way, the springs go to the back here. So we're going to take these, stretch them out a little bit. Oop, missed that. Stretch them out a little bit here, and they're not cooperating right now, so I'm going to get a little, little pin that'll fit in there. slide it on just like that. Make sure they stay lined up so when we put it back together. So we're going to get the other one here. Sorry that you guys can't really see what I'm doing here. It's just the springs are so tiny that I don't want to bend them or anything. slide it back in the exact same way it came out will only fit in like I said one way springs and everything line up slides right into the back there nice and flush so we're gonna look at this again long side is here short sides there so we're gonna take our long pin come from the outside here push that in until it gets nice and square a couple little taps and we're in. Take our little guy here. And this one's going to be a little more difficult. So, okay, we got that there. What I'm going to do is grab my little trusty screwdriver here. And we're going to make sure we can get that in there without. going to use a bigger allen so that we can push it in all the way around at the same time. See, that went in a lot easier because it's getting more surface area. Okay, we're going to do this a little differently. some pressure and a little flat plate there and we're good. We're in. Let me make sure that one's flush. That one's flush. Now we need to put our back plate here in. And this one's going to be a little hard because my fingers are freaking huge. See this little spring here it has to sit in that hole right at the top. Let's see. Yeah, right there at the top. So we're going to Slide that in there, but the whole thing needs to be held in place while we put our pin through. So if you don't hold it in place, that spring doesn't line up, neither does anything else.
Okay, after fighting and finding the spring and figuring out how the stupid thing goes back together. Got that damn back plate back in. A darn back plate, I should say. So, make sure that's nice and flush. Don't screw up anything. Okay, got our flute valve in. Got our threaded bar barrel adapter on. There's the barrel there. And I only... I've only found a few times that I've had problems putting all this stuff back together and the main problem was lining up the barrel stop hole but hopefully we don't have any problems this time so got our gun got our kit back together what we want to do is we'll take our slide release and everything and that's not even in there right now we'll slide that back in the gun to begin with. I just like doing that so it's out of, out of the way. So now, take this whole assembly. We're just gonna slide it right back in there like that. And back here, there's a little pin that we're gonna have to push down. Or a little slide forward, actually, to make it make everything fit where it needs to. And I had a problem with this the last time just because it was being stubborn. And pull it in and out a few times just to make it work. in place because I think that barrel was the thing I was having problems with earlier. Take the barrel here and see if we can get it down into the thing I'm having problems with I believe is that release or that slide release down here that I slid in. I might actually take the whole thing out since it's still easily removable and start over with this piece and we'll slide that on there. Because the barrel itself goes right into it. So it's got to locate itself. So I think that was the problem I was having the last time I took it apart. But we'll slide everything back in there. And like that, get everything lined up back here. Looks like we're lined up, but we're having a little problem getting it in there. There we go. See, now everything drops where we need it to. So we take the slide here. We're going to slide that in and pull that back. See, I think that's my problem was I took it apart a couple of times and did it once without putting that slide release and stuff together. So run it like that a couple of times, you'll be fine. Everything's there. Next part is getting the stuff up front done. So we go back to the front. We're gonna round it side up, just like you've seen on every KWA video or anybody's video about putting this together. And there's a flat piece right on the front there it's flat and that's where it's going to go it's towards the front so now what we need to do is make sure the barrel is right where it needs to be and that will be the final say and you just kind of work move it back into the into the bolt and push it forward a little bit and it snaps right into place so now we slide that back out and then here's the spring See, it's got a little foot. You want to slide that under the side. Oh, hold on to that thing. Slide under it. Under the thing. The other one stays above it. So you slide it and push it down in. 
sits like that. Now it's together. Move to the back side. Go ahead and feed your spring into the bolt. And my fingers are going to get in the way because the spring is kind of wonky. Okay, now we're all together. It's all held in there. There's a little spring back here. And we got that. So now we're going to put the top back on. And we're going to go from, I believe everybody likes to go from front to rear on this. And you just kind of slide it on, push that in. Make sure everything is situated, and it did not situate the way I wanted it. So we're going to take our little pin here and push that back in. And my spring is going to pop out on me again, unless I get it under control here. I think I'm missing a couple of pins because I've done this a few times and it's worked okay once or twice and not the next time so we're gonna slide that back in there like that now we're gonna set it up I'm gonna look at this a little bit and see if there's something I'm missing here no I don't see anything no everything seems to be perfectly fine there's no little clips or anything to hold it so what I'm going to do, set that, alright, for some reason it just pops right on, sometimes it doesn't, and we're going to take our little screw here in the front, we're going to grab our screwdriver, still has our flat head on it, going to line it up, and it'll actually tell you when it needs to stop, it's just a tight fit for some reason. Okay, now get rid of that. And there's our thread adapter. It looks a lot cleaner. You can run without it. Without the barrel adapter or the barrel extension on there. You got the adapter in showed you how to do it as much as I could. There'll be a couple of things that I didn't do and hopefully I can get this edited correctly so you guys, you know, don't make fun of me. But, if there are any questions, um, I will try and do some stuff when it's warmer. It's been cold here. It's been about, I don't know, 55 degrees so that runs the temperature of all of our gas and everything here in California down low. So, we'll, I don't know why I was showing 218 and 219 really low, low temperature pressures before I even put it in the flute valve. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over that and see what's going on and I'll get some hot temperature stuff for you guys and I'll get this edited up and sent out to YouTube so you guys can see it. Alright, thank you.